So eventually there will be rain in the rainforest. <laughs> Not that I'm complaining. Sunshine in a national rainforest. Welcome everyone, Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. Coming to you from the Olympic National Forest. More specifically, the Ho National Rainforest. We are camping in the rainforest. Yes, thanks for joining me guys. I will be uploading this video with some connected internet. Check out the video description below for unlimited high speed internet anywhere on the road. Diana and I actually really scored. Uh, usually this campground is very, very full. We came in as someone was leaving. I even stopped, rolled down the window. I said, by chance, are you leaving or did you just arrive? He said, no, I'm leaving in like two minutes. Thank you. Backed up, waited for him to leave and uh, this is our spot, guys, in the rainforest. Got the Bigfoot right there with the slide out. Sunshine. No rain in the rainforest today. <laughs> and we got the Ho River right below our picnic table. Absolutely stunning. The river is not as wide as it usually is. I see a lot of rock bed there, but our site is just covered in green and, and moss. You can see how green and mossy these trees are here. We'll get close. Feel the moss. Rainforest, guys. Absolutely. And the water out there, I don't know if it's showing up on the camera, but it's got a green tint to it. It is beautiful. We actually do get connected internet out here, which runs off of cell towers. And unless something's changed, it's, it's been a while since I've been out here more than seven or eight years, I, I would say. And uh, our, our connecting works out here. Our phones work out here. So we, we are definitely blessed to have that. Um, yeah, so we're gonna be doing some grilling. We're gonna see how the weather goes. Uh, in the meantime, <laughs> well, you might notice, or maybe you didn't, that there is no e-bike. There's no e-bikes in the back of the truck right here. No, we, um, I've done this a few other times, you know? I get these e-bikes for free, you know, they, they, they send them to me, and then I review them. And then oftentimes, I have my fun with it and I move on to something else. And so, I have moved on to something else. <laughs> it is too stupid to not be cool, guys. That's right. A Honda scooter. I had one of these on the back of my very first RV. As a matter of fact, I shared it with my viewers 10 or 11 years ago for the first time right here at this campground in a different site. You guys remember that red Honda scooter I had? This is a mint Honda scooter and I traded straight across for my e-bikes. I want to show you how clean this 19 85 Honda Elite scooter is. That gray paint, just brilliant. Clean. All the rubber's good, the seat's in good condition. It still says Elite. It's got the original keys, the two keys from Honda there. On the back here, all the lights work. It says Honda brilliantly. I mean, it looks like it was never used, right? It looks like a barn find. Well, guess what, guys? Wanna see the miles? Oh, now it's up to 130. Uh, so I guess I put on eight miles so far, just cruising around. 130 miles, 130 original miles. Look how clean this display is. I put my little phone mount there, but everything is original and clean. Yep, it's got the frunk in the front here with the original owner's manual there. My goodness. Also, and I don't know how long it's gonna stay this way, but currently right now, the tires, let's actually come over here. Those are the original Honda tires <laughs> and I'm sporting them guys, but not for very long. I'm gonna have to swap those out. 
Oil? Yeah. <laughs> My goodness. Let's fire this bad boy up here. Turn it on and run. Hold that. It's carbureted. Gonna have to do it on this side. There we go. Back wheels spinning. It has the center kickstand. It does not have a side kickstand on this particular bike. But <laughs> original glass headlight on this Honda Elite. My goodness. The blinkers. It's got the indicator up front. Everything on this works, guys. Just a gloriously, beautifully garaged, barn fine Honda Elite 80s scooter. Doesn't get any better than this, guys. So, <laughs> uh, you know, e-bikes are, they're fine. They're for some people. For me, I just, they're not for me. I end up not using them. I, and uh, oftentimes I will sell them and give somebody a really good deal or gift them to a friend. I've done that several times. Or trade them for something that's just a lot more fun. <laughs> Top speed of this, 44 miles an hour. That's the top speed I got it up to. Uh, and uh, Diana even tried it out here at the campground. I hear her laughing. <laughs> you got it. You got it. <laughs> so maybe it'll get her comfortable on two wheels for a little bit and then she can graduate to something else uh, for herself later. Um, I am gonna get one of those rear racks to put it on the back of the RV for the rest of this trip before I get it back to Arizona. In the meantime, it fits perfectly right in the back of Frosty. Picked up one of these folding ramps on uh, at uh, Home Depot. Put on there, put it there, zip tie it. It even closes. The tailgate will close and fit because it's just a tiny little scooter. So, ah, Diana, you're already in long pants and a hoodie. It's sweater weather already. <laughs> you gonna grill? I'm gonna grill. Can you turn it on for me? Please? I will turn the grill on for you. Are you doing a video on your channel? I'm gonna, yes. I will be doing a video grilling. Oh, but that's not, you, that's I mean, not steak on. though. That's, that's, veg, that's vegetables Diana and, food. and. It's Diana food. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, look at that water, guys. Look at that water. We are blessed. We are so blessed. I'm so happy. The rainforest. The rainforest. And that roar, that roar, that Harley roar, or that Honda purr. <laughs> hey, yeah. <laughs> See, scooters, they're for scooting. That's, that's what they're for. And you know, you just, you just hop on with shorts, a t-shirt and sandals, one hand it, holding the camera. You can't do that on a Harley. And there's something about just opening up a scooter. I'm not gonna open it up <laughs> here in the campground. But yeah, I mean, it's fun. I need to pick up a helmet because they are required here in Washington State to drive it on the road. So we'll probably do that when we leave here. Just go to a little Harley shop and buy a little helmet for my for my Honda. But just curves right along, guys. Look at this. What a fun little scooter, right? Uh, I also did not get my wide angle lens yet. So I ordered two of them on eBay to Andrew's house and they weren't there yet. They're gonna be delayed like three days, so. Either way, I've gotta go back to Andrews to pick up the um, motorcycle rack that I ordered on Amazon again. The same one I've ordered, I think, eight times. It literally says, purchased eight other variations. I do this a lot, guys. I do it a lot, because it's fun. You know, to me, it's like, you just get to try out a bunch of cool stuff, and if you don't like it, oftentimes, most of the time, I would say, I don't lose any money. And I get to just play with these cool toys for free, so. It is what it is, but this will be a practical tool. And actually, I really think Diana's gonna enjoy using it more than I am, even when we get the Harley back. So, anyways, gonna, gonna park this thing and uh, grill up some good food on the grill after Diana's done with her veggies. Diana's healthy food is off the grill after she tainted the grill with decorations. Actually, it looks good if you're into that sort of thing. It's just <laughs> happens to not be my thing, but that looks good, honey. Thank you. Your bangs look nice. You cut your bangs. I did. Thank I like you. it. I like yeah. that. And uh, my, my food's done too. Got me the dogs. 
grilled dogs by the river. That's what's up. That's exactly what's up. And good morning, everyone. Running the furnace for the first time this year, I think. It's exhausting a lot of heat right there. We had to. It's chilly. It got down to 44 degrees last night here in the rainforest. And uh, so far, I will say that the, the Bigfoot with this solar system, $13,000 solar system and batteries, we have kept up in this Bigfoot off grid. We don't need a generator. But today I'm wondering because we did wake up at 73% and I'm running the furnace. It's running on propane, but it does pull DC power to run the fan. I'm wondering if today's gonna be the day I have to break out the generator from the truck. It's been chained to the corner of the truck in there since we left and we might need it. We might need it today. Um, the water looks different this morning and I don't mean just a little green. Today, it looks like Key West green turquoise. That is the clearest river I think you'll ever see on this channel. Clearer than uh, Liar River here. Turquoise green. And it must have something to do with the time of day. That's the only thing I can think of, because yesterday we got here and it clearly was not this color. It did not appear to be this color, okay? That is gorgeous. What an incredible, what an incredible campground. I love this rainforest, guys. So Diana's down there vlogging for her channel and getting some pictures and stuff. And we were talking about since today is such a nice day and we have the truck. Maybe we'll take the truck out and go explore and take you guys with us. Maybe grab a bite to eat out there. That's one of the nice things about having an extra vehicle is that I don't really feel cooped up. You know, I could spend three, four, maybe even five nights here at this campground as long as I can take the scooter out or we can take the truck out for a little bit and kind of reset things. So that is one of the perks of, of traveling with a, with a truck. I just turned the generator on outside, locked to the bumper and <laughs> the gremlins are sleeping. <laughs> we just refer to them as the gremlins now because, you know, <laughs> got gizmo. And we do got chunks here. But they're, they're like gremlins when they're awake. When they're sleeping, they are absolutely precious. Just precious little monsters. All right, you guys sleep. I'm going to go down to the water, leave the generator going for a little bit, and then... Go try to find Diana. I haven't seen her for like an hour and a half. I hope she's okay down there. <laughs> yeah, to give you an idea, the uh, boat launch here usually would end right there. So the water, the river comes all the way up to right there. This sand right here, no wait, <laughs> the boat launch ends right there. This has been an interesting common theme on my channel for well, basically this entire year, still no water, still no water. And there's the new water line here in September of 2024. The water looks awesome though. So the RV is right there up on the hill. Can you see it? There's the RV tucked away. Let's go see if, first of all, if we can find Diana and secondly, well, what's on the other side of this river bend over here? I've never been able to walk over here because this beach is, is new to all the times I've been here. You know, the water's up past there. And now we have all this extra walking space. Stop it. Are you kidding me? Look at this. I never would have known that there was this back here. Rapids, not really waterfalls, but definitely rapids. This, <laughs> this is like something out of another world. It doesn't even feel like Washington State. Oh wait, as I was walking away, look who hollered at me. She's in her red dress, okay. Man, it is pretty out here. I hope she got some good pictures. You wanna go to Forks? Yeah. Let's do it. Well, we just got back in the RV and look. So Chunks is using Opie's butt to cuddle. 
That is the sweetest ever, Opie. You are the best big brother. Give it in your warm butt on your baby brother. And Gizmo's still sleeping. All right, I'm going to go lock up the scooter. Then we're going to hit the road. You're in charge, Opie. All right, we made it to Forks, Washington. Again, no rain, guys. Is this crazy? Forks, where they filmed, uh, filmed some famous movie, Batman or Lord of the Rings. Something about fighting cats and dogs, I forget, with claws. I don't know. Some sort of a hobbit house here made out of an actual full-size tree trunk. The trees can get pretty big here on the west coast. Pretty big. In fact, Diana's over here looking at this one. It doesn't say what kind of log that is. It's a monster piece of wood. Monstros. Yes. Some old pickup trucks out front. Some classic old trucks. They got a couple pictures here of the Olympic National Park, which we haven't entered. We've just, we're camping in the rainforest itself, but just outside of the National Park, like one mile outside. So we haven't really been in. And they got a bunch of stuff. Okay, I guess that's the movie. <laughs> Twilight. The home of where they filmed Twilight. Okay, well, we got some magnets and stuff, but um, in case you don't know, I mean, Forks is a kind of a touristy place due to the movie Twilight. And uh, it, it was not filmed here at all, sadly. Uh, it's kind of one of the things that ruins the magic of movies. The book itself is based on this place, Forks, Washington, and LaPush, La Washington over on the coast. But nothing was filmed here. There are no movie locations to see here that are related to the movie at all because it's all fictional. Although some of the places here, like the high school and a hardware store, they try to emulate the movie scenes, but it wasn't actually filmed here. Yeah. We're gonna go check out a couple stores and get a bite to eat. All right, we, uh, we splurged here in Forks. We've got bags and bags and bags of stuff. I got a, I got four or five different magnets, four or five different patches. I wanna show you guys later. And we got custom hoodies. I mean, guys, I got an awesome one. Diana got me, when we watched her put the heat press on it, I got an awesome hoodie. Uh, so we're gonna go out to eat, but like half the restaurants here in Forks are closed on, on a Monday, including like some of the best restaurants. So we're actually gonna go out to La Push out on the coast, which is another, not filming location, but a movie location. And there's a restaurant out there on the Pacific Ocean. So we're gonna drive about 23 minutes back to the ocean. Okay, we're here in La Push. I've been here one other time and it was pouring balls, raining, sunshine. We parked next to the totem pole and we're gonna see if we can eat here at the River's Edge restaurant. But first we wanna walk around and see the other side over there. So here's the restaurant. It doesn't look like they have any outdoor seating out here behind the restaurant, but oh, there's some seagulls out there and some, some huge rocks out there. Lots of seagulls though. Uh, parts of it looks familiar to where they filmed the Goonies, but that was uh, down in Oregon. Lots of trees and wildlife out there. And seagulls. I'm hungry, food smells good. It's definitely a seafood restaurant behind me. Well, all of the uh, window seats were taken over there with a view, that's okay. Still got a seat and I'm admiring this, this countertop right here, this live edge stained epoxied. Hmm, yeah, yeah, okay, we'll just leave that alone for now. All right, our food orders are in and we got our drinks. Diana got the Twilight Berry Bliss. I don't know if you can see it. She said, in the bottom. Yeah, she said you're gonna wanna mix it up. Yeah, so stir it up real good. And then I went with a local beer from Redmond, Washington, uh, the Mac and Jack's Brewing Company with the kitty cat on it. It's an African Amber Ale. Looks pretty good. Mmm, a little thick for an Amber Ale, but it is good. It's really good. Mmm. All right, Diana's salmon is still coming, but they brought out my fresh from the sea burger here with bacon. I don't know what kind of bread this is. It's like pita bread or something, but oh yeah. Diana's Northwest salmon arrived. It is really good. I tried a piece. 
Nice. Nice. A lot of burger, really. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. They just caught this burger too, I bet. All right, we're back. Had fun out there in Forks, a lot of fun. But look at the water again. In the afternoon, it does not look green at all. There's no teal, there's no green tint. It's only in the morning here, this time of year. That's interesting. But I think the plan is, once we get the scoot scoot loaded back up into the bed of the truck and we leave here, Skeletor is gonna have to be mounted on the scooter. I got him here on the tailgate of the truck, waving to everybody coming in. But I got zip ties and I always like to do something, put him on a motorcycle or up the ladder of the RV or something. I think he'll be funny in the back of the truck for now. Um, this is the hoodie that Diana got for me. It was custom made right there at the shop. Uh, this is a logo they use a lot. They had the hoodie available in like Carhartt Brown, which is one of my favorite color of hoodies. So Mount Rainier National Park here in the Evergreen State. And on the back, a brand new logo that the worker had never put on any garment before. The Dancing Rainier Bottle. Pacific Northwest, Rainier Beer established in 1878. Way out here, it's Rainier. Oh, and the Thriftway store in Forks had Rainier Beer on sale. A 30 pack for 23 bucks. Best deal on Rainier I could see. We are going to stop by one more time there, and I'm probably gonna stock up on a few of those to take down south with me. But yep, Skeletor, looking good, my man. We just need to get some meat on your bones, buddy. Oh, also, let me show you today's magnet and patch haul. Went a little overboard, but I got these two thinking I might not find any more. So the City of Forks, these are very thin magnets. They were only a buck. And then Forks, Washington kind of shows the hoe rainforest. But then we actually found a wooden magnet that says the hoe rainforest where we are with Bigfoot. And then even a Forks, Washington magnet with Bigfoot and moving blue sand. And then the third one we stopped at literally a freaking fork, guys. A silver fork that says Forks Washington on it, and it's a magnet. So that's why I have five magnets today. And then for the patches, look at this. It's like the style of my logo, my, my sticker, and the National Park Service, except it's Sasquatch Park Service. Also, the great Pacific Northwest with Mount Rainier and some evergreen trees off in the distance, and then also a City of Forks welcomes you like the welcome sign. That's my haul. Trying out my hoodie, guys. What do you think? Heck yeah. I love it. Gotta have me a, a rain ear here to close out the evening. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got a bunch of stuff packed up. And I, uh, I moved to Skeletor. Let me show you. Yeah, I rearranged the back of the truck quite a bit and I zip tied Skeletor Honda Scooter there. You can see the smile on his face. You know he is a happy Skeletor. We do need to get some meat on his bones, some tater tots preferably. Look at that smile. Don't tell me he's not happy up there. He is one happy dude and he's going to make people smile as they drive by and see him. Yes, yeah, so I kind of tilted the scooter this way so I could fit more inside. Uh, basically everything's in there except the generator right now, which will go up front. I'm gonna leave that uh, outside tonight. We're expecting a massive amount of rain here tomorrow here in the rainforest. So I wanted to put away most everything for the day. The Bigfoot looks beautiful, all green here in the green forest. And I'll show you the back because I may have to run the generator a little bit tomorrow. But I know I'm gonna have to do it. So it's chained up to the bottom bumper supports there. And uh, if we go up here, it's underneath the RV completely so that uh, I can operate it in the rain and it won't get wet. But yeah, I would say that the Bigfoot is in its element here in the woods. What do you guys think? <laughs> it looks awesome. In fact, let me go stand out here and get a better view out here. You got to see this. Okay, now behind all this moss, tell me the Bigfoot doesn't look right at home here in the rainforest. You bet. Well, let's brace for the rain, guys. This place will look a little different, I bet, in my next clip. 
Good night, guys. And good morning, everyone. Yeah, just wanted to show you what this place looks like when it's in its normal habitat here in the rainforest. Yes, raining. We were spoiled the first two days with no rain, but honestly, this is what it's usually like. And there's a reason why everything is so green and mossy around here. It's because the rainforest does get quite a lot of rain. Although it's not raining crazy heavy, it just, it puts a nice saturation on the ground and keeps all the leaves really nicely coated in rain year round, usually. But uh, yeah, I wanna go walk down and see what color the river is here. A couple new vehicles pulled in this morning. They're not in approved campsites, so I don't know if they're gonna get in trouble, but there's uh, two vehicles pulled off here because the campground is otherwise full. There's an eight window schoolie right there with a motorcycle hitch on the back. I like that a lot. Lots of high clearance on that schoolie. It looks like it's painted pink. Okay, and then there's this big guy here. That's, a, that's an off-road machine. I think that's called a man, an M-A-N. But I wanna walk around him to get to the trail. So, gosh, that is a monster beast here. See, is it a man? Yeah, M-A-N man, okay. So these are not RV sites where they're parking. They might get in trouble because the sign does say you're only allowed to park in designated campsites. You can't just block the trail. Actually, I have never been on this trail. There was a truck camper uh, parked here fishing earlier. So uh, I couldn't even see that it was still here. I had forgotten where it was. Ooh, it's gonna get dark. Oh, it got dark. This is a rainforest, guys. This feels like a rainforest. As a matter of fact, it was raining over there. If I pull the umbrella down, these monster cedar trees, it's not even raining on me here at all. There is no rain hitting me. That is so strange. A little bit of rain falling now. Okay, yeah, let's see where this trail leads to. Ironically, this is just the Northwest that I'm used to, usually. I never, it never seems to rain very hard, heavy, like it does in Arizona. But you know, just a constant sprinkle or maybe a constant light rain, you know? It just gets so dark through these woods. Oh yeah, this leads to another part of the river. And look, it's turquoise again. Can you see? So some people think that the, the turquoise color you see is reflecting off of the blue skies and it's not really a turquoise water. Well, here's your proof. There's no blue sky. It's cloudy and, and raining here. And yet still, somehow magically, the water looks blue. Very strange, very strange indeed. And the plants are loving all of the moisture. They love it. So here's the plan, guys. We're gonna play some, some board games and watch some movies in the RV today. Kind of start packing things up. Uh, but first, I need to take the truck and go pick up a few things, some late packages on eBay. Amazon's been pretty good, but those two packages I had sent, one for myself, the wide angle lens, uh, two of them for this Osmo Pocket 3, they're at Andrew's now, and a couple, couple things in one package for Diana. So it's about a two hour drive in the truck. I figure why not, it's a rainy day anyway. Take a break from Diana, <laughs> give her a break from me, I mean and uh, make a day of it. And then in my next video, I love standing right here. This cedar tree, these two cedar trees provide a lot of shade and no rain. And then in a couple days, we'll uh, continue on. We're not ready to give up and turn around and go south just yet. We'll see. Bye guys. <laughs>